Welcome back to Relics of Hyrule the series. This is episode 209 and I'm level 29. That works. Anyway, um I went through Valthum and found a the Terminan bow. So now I have a new bow. Um it's raining. And we're going to continue on our merry way. Oh, I'm carrying too much to be able to run apparently. Oh, no, I am not. That is false. Um, we're going to continue on the main quest, which we could talk to Esbern since we're nearby Skyhaven Temple. Um, I think he might direct us up here. We could just go straight to Septimus Cygnus, but I'm going to talk to Esbern because why the frick not? <laughs> okay. Esbern, north, west. Okay. So, episode 209. Things are looking up. Still using the same armor. The um, glass armor is nice, but the two glass armors I have have weaknesses that I don't think I should use. <laughs> like... Weakness of Frost is not helpful. Oh, he's dead. Um, weakness of Frost is not helpful. In general, weakness to magic isn't helpful. Um, although the fair and glass armor gives me resistance to both of the other ones. I actually put them both away. Um, I also have a Zora Battle Axe now. As my two-handed weapon. A hone Zora battle axe is that, and I still have the Forgotten Hammer, and I have, say, a Divine Shield, which at some point I will retexture. Well, maybe I'll offer an option to retexture it. It's a little dirty, so I might offer the option to retexture that, like a polished Divine Shield or something. And we have the Terminan Bow. That's our bow. Big old chunky Majora's Mask staring you right in the face. <laughs> yep. So things are things are looking good for Jayut Gorokt. Also, I have this uh, Dragon Soul Shift. It's a mod that allows you to convert a Dragon, po dragon Soul to a perk point. And I have four Dragon Souls, and I don't think I'll be using these anytime soon. I might use Aura Whisper, but I can always kill a dragon. So, I'm actually going to use this. Yes. What? Oh, it must be... How many souls per perk point? I see. It must be set to five or something. I'll set it to three. There we go. That sounds good to me. Three. That makes it worth it. Um, I think I'm going to save this if I get the final word of Frost Breath. Anyway. So now I have a new perk point because of that mod. Because otherwise it would take quite a long time to accumulate all those perk points. So I can... Take those rudimentary. Oh, hello. Gonna. All right. Hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Uh. Nice try, but you don't scare me. I'm not going to ask again. I don't have time. Don't you walk away from me? You can't win this. Yeah. Actually, I just got a new perk in two handed. You bit, you silly. What's your problem? Moron. Alright. <laughs> yeah, you walk up to someone who looks like this. Well, I guess I'm not that intimidating. But still. Piddly leather armor versus a battle axe. Very foolish. Um, okay, so. Here's what I am thinking. Um, 
what am I thinking? With Relics of Hyrule, um, I was thinking about something. And hopefully there's no baddies to fight because I don't want to get distracted. Um, I notice nowadays that there's a lot of cynicism. Hi. So there's a lot of cynicism in the media and how people consume media. Um, more often than not, if something comes out, there will be... I don't know, like... So some things are met with praise, lots of praise, but then some things, the things that aren't as good, or the things that people, like, were really hyped up about and then get disappointed by, they, like, really lay into them. And... ignore them, if that makes sense. Like, so, like, if a, if a, if a movie has a few flaws, it's thrown out entirely, and it's called bad. It's a bad movie. And in some cases, some flaws can kill a movie, just ruin it, but it doesn't detract from the good parts of the movie. I'm just checking the settings for... Oh, I apologize if the rain was drowning out my dialogue. <laughs> but yeah, so... I mean, you haven't missed much if you haven't been able to hear me. Um, there's a Relics of Hyrule thing nearby. Oh, hello. Hey, excuse me. Hey. Hey. Okay, there we go. Um, so people are very quick to throw out a movie, and if it's part of a larger universe, if it's bad, sometimes they're like, well, this doesn't count. Like, let's just ignore that this thing ever happened. Which I think is, like, very cynical to pick and choose what is part of canon. And by the same token, so sometimes the fans are a little unfair, but to be fair, sometimes things are legitimately disappointing. Um, and they part of a universe, and they don't fit with that universe. My hope is that Relics of Hyrule isn't like that. My hope is that Relics of Hyrule isn't too... I mean, it's dark. Well, that was silly. My hope is that Relics of Hyrule isn't, like, alienating, if you know what I mean. Like, sometimes a piece of media that is part of a larger um, franchise could be alienating or disappointing. And I just hope that Relics of Hyrule didn't do that for anyone. Or if it did, I hope that it did it minimally for only a few people. I was just thinking about that recently. Watch out, oh man. That one's down. Yeah. I don't want to get into specifics because there is a specific franchise that I'm like kind of sad how people are, tr um, how fans are reacting to it. But at the same time, I acknowledge that the most recent um, thing wasn't necessarily great. But it didn't, at the same time, it didn't really have room to be perfect. It was never going to be perfect. Um, I had a lot going on it. And I think part of the problem may have been the studio got a little too involved. Um, I don't want to get into specifics, because I don't want to open that can of worms. But I see where people 
could dislike it, but at the same time, like, I enjoyed myself experiencing it. And I just sort of was like, okay, yeah, that's kind of silly, but it doesn't really kill the experience for me. Like, I think there needs to be an element of love, sort of, that is absent um, from the fans and potentially from the people in charge. But like I said, I don't want to get into that. My hope is that Relics of Hyrule... I mean, Relics of Hyrule is a fan-made project, so it kind of gets a pass. It's not official Zelda canon. I just hope that it hasn't, like, detracted in any way from either Skyrim or Zelda. But it's a fan-made project, so it's... gets a pass. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that, um, using those kinds of kill moves, because it's just like... She could have hit him with his bat with the battle axe, but she didn't have enough time. She just goes blap. Um, not gonna use the alchemy lab. I thought there was a relics of Hyrule thing in a Red Eagle readout, readout, redope it. Rorp, rorp, rorp. I picked up a single tankard, and it's too much to be able to run. Anyway, I have big plans for Relics of Hyrule. Um, something I want to add... Oh, yeah, I need to... I need to put these things away. I need to take this to the Terminal Forge. I'll give you Hypnorak. I'm going to put Hypnorak in uh, Labyrinthian. Um, but first... Let's give you... Do I have any ingots? I have Quicksilver and Refined Silver. I have the Silver Ingot. I can easily return it to my inventory. Um, so... Oh, hello, friend. How are you? Where are you going? Um, Rogue Safari, I realize that there's not a lot of starting heavy armor. In fact, there's none. <laughs> so I'm gonna add Armos armor. Oh yeah, maybe I have been. I have been here already. Yeah, I have been. I just skipped part of it. All right. Well, that's impressive. Yeah. Oh, I got really off track. That's um, so, Armos Armor will be coming in version 6.6 .6, um, to give you sort of a starting set of heavy armor, and I'll put it somewhere easy to find. And, of course, you can craft it. And I'm going to add a new Armos Shield as well. Um, a lesser Armos Shield. It'll be an Armos Targe. Yeah, so it'll be like a different kind of shield. Lighter, but also weaker than the normal Armos shield. Um, and then I'm also going to add more uh, higher level armor. Because there's the tunics, and there's a lot of those, and I think I'm going to add the ability to um, infuse those with, like, dragon bone or dragon scale. Um, so that you can wear, if you like the hero's clothes, um, you can infuse it with dragon bone or dragon scale um, to make it really strong so that you can wear it because it's on par with uh, it's kind of low on the totem pole it's like elven 
and that's not super strong. Um, and then I'm probably going to add more. I'm going to add even more um, armors. Obviously, Breath of the Wild is coming, and so I'll be able to use those, use armor from that. Just someone just munching on a whole clove of garlic. <laughs> their lunch. And of course this the um fire temple is coming, the forest temple is coming in version 6.6 .6, and the archive is coming. My goal with 6.6 .6 is to just focus on those three things. So I'll make um a few things to sort of fit in and things that I come up with like Armos armor. But for the most part, 6.6 .6 is just going to be Fire Temple, Forest Temple, and the uh, Archive. Let's talk to Esber and see what he has to say. I used to dream. In the dream, I was standing someplace high up, a tower or a mountain. It was always just before dawn. The whole world was in darkness. Then came the flash of light just on the horizon, within the clouds that marked the border of the world. It could have been lightning, but there was no thunder. In the dream, the sense of foreboding grew, but I could never pick up. Then it came again, this time more distinct, closer. Definitely not lightning. Now it was orange, brilliant orange, the color of hearth and dawn, and a sound too distinct and Something uh, I should recognize, but in the dream I cannot place it. I want to leave my high place to seek shelter from what I don't yet know. In the manner of dreams, I cannot escape. I'm forced to wait and watch. Then, finally, realization and horror arrive together. The orange is flame and heat. The sound, the roar, the challenge. Too late for escape. The dragon is upon me. Fire and darkness descending like a thunderbolt. And not just any dragon, but the dragon, Aldrin, the world eater, the dragon who devours both the living and the dead. And then I would wake up and hope that it was just a dream, but know that it was not. Ah! I've been chronicling the recent history of the Blades. What would you like your entry to say? I survived. Come now. You did more than just survive. All right, shut up. <laughs> ah, indeed. There's a pretty puzzle. Not the kind of thing you'll find in a local bookshop. Let me think. Perhaps the College of Winterhold, what learning there is in Skyrim, is gathered there. One of the mages there. May be able to put you on the trail of this elder scroll. His beard kind of shifts around in a in a way that. That's all. Hmm? I really like that the story of his dream. I never heard that before. Probably because I've been rushing through the the story so much. I am intrigued by this little marker on my compass. I knew he was going to tell me about Winterhold, but I just wanted to pop over since I was in the area, and I'm glad I did because then I heard his little little tale. Of the dream. Perfect. Ten out of ten. Okay, take two. <laughs> I mean, the rocks cape, it only slows you down. It doesn't remove fall damage entirely, but it can make it easier to jump into a river or on a goat. Okay. We have five, five minutes left in the episode. So I'm going to try to find this uh, landmark up here. And then I guess we're just going to pop right up to the College of Winterhold. Oh, there's the Headless Horseman. Look at him. Look at him doing his thing. Amazing. You'll love to see it. I can't climb that. I'm Spider-Man. Yep. 
My hope is that 6.6 .6 won't be as big as 6.5 was, and by that I mean 6.5 went up to 6.5.21, and I don't expect 6.6 .6 to be that much. I am going to add 6.6.1 like and 6.6.2 and things like that. Oh, it's Reach Windiri. <gasps> but, Reach Cliff Cave. Mmm, there's something in here. I wonder what it is. Well, we might as well investigate. Um, so, 6.6.5, whatever, it'll have other stuff. Um, and then 6.7 will roll around. Hopefully before it's like 6.6.30. This is ridiculous. So I'm not, I'm hoping that's not going to happen. But I make no guarantees. Hello, friend. Yay. tricky to an extent <laughs> hi friend how are you ah uh -huh. I probably shouldn't be wasting these daedric arrows let's see here yeah some of his mode of medicine Oh, very soon. Uh, one more level up and one any skill. Yeah. I think she was. Yeah, she just used the the sacred bow, and in so doing was able to cream his face and it released the explosion of turn undead ah yes here it is Sheikah gauntlets look at that that's really cool why is it just a Sheikah gauntlets though that's kind of strange ah I almost leveled up is there supposed to be something else in here? Because it was just a sheik of gauntlets. I mean, I'm not complaining, but it's just kind of interesting. I'm hoping that I did that intentionally. I don't remember that. Um, I'm hoping that was intentional and that I didn't forget anything. But I will double check. Yeah, you can suppose. Alright, there's more, I think. I mean, there's something else through here. I think maybe this opens up? Unless I'm completely crazy. This down here, where the... This might open up as part of a quest. Um... Yeah, it probably does. I forget what Reachcliff Cave is all about. I will, if the fairy is still there, that tells me that it was looking for a different item. Um, so, I will double check. But, I'll let you see that, and then I'm going to call it a an episode and then I will bid you farewell
get out of here. Ugh, I'm so close to level 30. Okay, is there... I guess the fairy's gone. Huh, the fairy's gone. So I guess it was just the gauntlets. That's interesting. Just the Sheikah gauntlets in there. Anyway, thanks for watching. And... Join me next time. We're going to continue on the main quest. Get an Elder Scroll. I actually don't know what College of Winterhold will tell me. I might end up doing Discerning the Transmundane. I don't know this game that well. I know Relics of Hyrule well. Just not Skyrim. I forget the main quest. Um, quite considerably. But that's okay. Because... Relics of Hyrule is just as interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.